Okay, we'd like to introduce Boba Fett. And here he is, a new character. Uh, can you speak to us, Boba? Certainly. Boba has sort of a radio voice. There's a speaker built into him here. And also, there's a certain amount of telemetry going on and a certain amount of feedback for some reason. And why don't you turn around and we can take a look at you. In between Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, of course, there are a lot of, uh, you know, other, I mean, there was a Star Wars TV show, I mean, a, a, a holiday special that was made. And Boba Fett was designed and was in progress in that time period, this is between Star Wars and Empire. And, um, you know, Joe Johnson had designed him, and George had approved the designs, and they built a temporary costume to see what it would look like. So uh, we had the costume there in George's house, and we put it on Dwayne right here, Dwayne Dunham, the editor. Dwayne, the Dwayne do you recall being Boba yeah. Fett? Yeah, I was. Yeah, they, they I, I banked footage. in that footage of right. Boba Fett. Yeah. This is only a black and white tape, and he looks totally white. The, uh, the concept of Boba now is going to be uh, a multicolored uh, fellow. They're going to actually have different colors, basically blue and green, sort of light, muted colors. There's also some, some electronics on him here. They don't really show up in the sunlight here, but there's some readouts here that are, there's some small electronic numbers and things flashing in the window. This is a range finder. Is this what this is here? This is, this tilts down here, and he can look through this device here and, and sight on various targets and so on. And there's some little optics and some little lights that blink on and off. There's actually two red lights. I guess there's a number of different weapons. There's the, uh, the, the rifle, the uh, laser submachine gun, more or less. There's a flamethrower here. Why don't we get a close-up of that aspect here? Okay, it's this uh, structure right here. And I guess what, there's some igniters in the front here that ignite uh, propane gas and it'll shoot out. On top, this is a dart throwing device, uh, rather deadly, and there's other mechanics and electronics uh, related to that there. These also shoot some sort of darts, projectiles from each knee. There's pockets down on the uh, front of the legs here to uh, store various uh, tools and other uh, accessories. Oh yes, on the feet we have, are these blades that kick out? At one time I thought that's what they were going to be. Are these also spikes just for kicking? These are little darts that are fire out. Oh yeah, right here, these four little yeah. pins here. Well, this is some, some sort of laser, uh, laser gun. Yeah. It emits from this little copper end here. All right. There's a light, a light that uh, shines out. Right here. It's like a flashlight. Like it would be a little, torch or something. Flash, yeah. This is his uh, pistol. The back here has a grappling projected from the, the backpack and goes to wherever it will. This is part of his uh, jet pack. Let me just stand aside. Sure, have him turn around and get a shot of the uh, jetpack. Can you do it, Dwayne? He's fighting to keep the lift, you know, he's fighting to stay down when that's on. Uh, another feature will be what uh, the equivalent of scalps, or actually scalps, of some of Boba's victims. He's got a nice one there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm a little too short. Uh, which will be hanging down from this shoulder, you know, sort of like a pigtail might, but these would be the uh, locks of hair of various enemies that he's slain in the course of his mercenary duties. They wanted a character that could make public appearances, and I think Boba was kind of designed as a character between Star Wars and, and Empire that they could, you know, get the public excited about something new. Wayne, how did you get the role? Oh, I, I just fit the suit, that's all. <laughs> well, look but, at him. But listen, yeah, he's, but listen, he's, he's, do you know that Boba Fett wore spurs? That's in, right. in the movie, he was yeah, Clint right. Eastwood in outer space, and Ben put spurs on him. So when, yeah. listen, when Boba Fett walks down the yeah. hallway, yeah. he goes ching, ching, ching. He didn't have any spurs you could see, but we decided we would. put them on anyway. That's right, I forgot about that. In that footage, rather than wearing a cape or a serape, he's actually wearing, I think, a Star Wars beach towel. I don't know if it, or yeah, a Star Wars blanket. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the early suit was, and was a, you know, prototype, and so. It hadn't been fully developed as it got to be later. Well, thank you very much.